kept it on edge because I feel like I'm surrounded. What's up guys, Paracurious here. Today we are checking out Madison Seminary in Madison, Ohio. This is gonna be level four out of six in our levels of fear. As you guys know, at the end of the night, we're gonna be ranking tonight's investigation on a scale from one to five ghosts based on how scary it is. This building's history starts in 1847 when it was first built as a seminary or a school for upcoming or for future priests. And it was a school for about 50 years. In 1891, the building became a home for women and children who lost their husbands and fathers in war. There was a lot of grieving happening in this building. And it was a very common occurrence in this building for people to commit suicide. Next, it became an asylum for the mentally ill. A lot of the workers were prisoners, and it was known as the nut house. Patients were often mistreated in the asylum part due to the building's cold and hot temperatures throughout winter and summer, dehydration, and bad social environments. The inmates who worked there at the time stayed in the basement during this time, and the asylum patients were kept in the attic. Lastly, in the 1980s, it was bought by the Ohio State Police. They owned it for a few years, but pretty much just used the top floor for storage because most of the police actually hated the building and were scared of it because they heard doors slamming and running upstairs and when they listed it for sale they actually listed in the description that the building may be haunted. From 1847 to 1993 the building has been in constant use so within these past two decades the building is just now getting to settle. That same noise come from. I heard quite a few noises. But when we were first walking down, we heard it from the other. Shh, shh. 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 Holy shit. That was like a door slamming. That was from down there, was it? Shh, shh, I heard something else. Yeah. What the f is that? That was a door opening. Is someone here? There's gotta be a person here. I told you, when we first walked back here, I said I saw something black go behind that corner. Yeah. Dude, what's going on? It's like a door is just opening and shutting and then yes. opening and shutting again. Dude. Ew. It might be a wind. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Dude, I thought there was something living in here. A few other things to note is that the building is actually home to the most haunted doll in Ohio. Her name is Maddie, and you're supposed to hold her hand when you talk to her. There's also a little girl spirit named Sarah. It could be a puppet situation where a larger spirit is disguising itself as a little girl to draw more people in. Similarly, how the Belair house has Emily, who a lot of people believe is something larger portraying itself as a little girl. After the current owner purchased the building, he had multiple psychics and mediums tell him that they thought there was a body buried in the basement. So the owner had cops come in and their machines and their dogs said that there was a body buried in the basement. But when they started digging, they found nothing. Just right when we came out, Abraham Lincoln is right there. Yeah, true. So we just did our tour, walked around the whole building, but the store was open like just a little bit when we started our tour. We come back and it's shut and locked. And the keys that we have 
are for the front door, not this one. So yeah, they don't work. Keys. So now we're just locked in the building. Without our equipment, without our stuff. Like we don't have anything yet. We... And the owner's not like here, not in town. I'm panicking if you can't tell. Yeah. We actually do. None of the keys work. There's only five keys. None of them work for that door, that door. I haven't tried this one yet, but it's locked. So I'm gonna call this woman who's been texting me. Apparently this is Shelly from Madison Seminary. I'm gonna call Shelly. You just came in, we got the key. Okay, you said, what floor do I go for the fire escape? Thank you so much. And he said this is not the first time this has happened. He said people will get locked in the building and that's why they have the fire escape open. Look at that, they both just lit up. Now that one is. They've both been lighting up at like the same time. We're starting off down in the basement of the school and we're already getting activity with the K2 meters. We have all our equipment set up. In here we got flashlights, K2 meters, REM pod, and then we're gonna use the Obelisk app. And we have the music box out in the hallway. Are there any spirits here who would like to communicate with us? Oh my gosh, thank you. Who are we talking to? Is this a male? You can light up anything to answer yes. Okay. And the kitchen's going on. Yeah. Kitchen keeps going. Can you try giving us hints of who we're talking to through the device the girl in the white hat is holding? There's this device. Who's going up to order? Do you want to talk to us? Is there something you want to share? Do you like that we're here? Oh. Wow. Really bright. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you. Both of these are going nuts. Thank you so much. See, I think something's here. I just don't know why we're not getting that much. All right, well, this is your last chance. If you have anything to tell us or want to talk about, you can say it now. Did y'all hear that? What was it? It was like a knock out there, like far away. It was right after I said we're going to go to a different room, so if they're trying to like tell us where to go. All right, so now we are here in the dining room. We are told this room gets a lot of good activity, so we have our equipment set up. We have the music box over there pointing towards the hallway. If there's anybody down here with us, can you give us a sign? If anyone wants to come join us for dinner, you can. That came from over there. Did you hear that above you? It just went creak, like right above her. Can you try to touch a piece of equipment around the room and make it light up? That way we know you're here. That was out there. Yeah. If that was you, can you do it again? Did you? It's like a high pitched squeak. I'm turning away. Was that above you? Uh -huh. I keep looking straight forward. I feel like the. I hear noises all around me. Boromus! Who does that mean? It said it at the flash of the club, too. Is there an evil or bad spirit here with us? Hello? What the f Was that a door opening? Yeah. I the flashlight down there just came on. Thank you. John is not doing good. Why? She's frozen right now. Yeah, she's not doing good. <laughs> <laughs> what if that was the door to our room? I see. It wasn't. Our door's still open. It sounded like a door squeaking. Is someone evil with us right now? <gasps> what was that? What the f was that? Look at Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the creaking behind me. I can't do it. This is another long creak, like someone came and sat behind me again. 
I just heard something behind me. It was like, is there someone over there? Where is that coming from? I don't know, it sounds like everywhere. If something shut the door on us earlier and locked us in here, can you do it again? Something is like clapping behind me. I thought it sounded like snapping. Yeah. Some... Like finger snap. Wow. You can tell on camera, I literally went like this, and right before I turned my flashlight on, that one came on. Like, right as I was getting ready to click it. That was crazy. <laughs> and we turned them off at the same time. Every time I think I asked about something evil, we heard the squeaking noise. I don't want it to be something evil. If there is something evil here with us, can you make that loud, high-pitched noise one more time? Holy shit. This got a lot scarier all of a sudden. Can you make the loud, squeaking noise again? Clayton, that flashlight turned on at the exact same time you just turned that on. That's the second time that's happened. And it's off. That time I didn't say anything about it being evil, and it didn't happen. Is there an evil spirit that is making that squeaking noise? If so, can you do it again? Every time. Our door is still open. It was right when I mentioned it again. Yeah. Every time. If there's something evil in here, can you make that noise again? Where'd that one come from? That way. It came from behind us. What? What is going on? I just... Hmm. Anyone else feel that? I just got like a cold breeze. Yeah, I have. I just got goosebumps. Yeah. I think something just like... I don't know what that was. Strange. It literally felt like a small breed. That's that way for sure. Yeah. Letter. August. This just said two words the second I walked. What was that? Object. Object. Something evil is in here with us. Can you make that loud squeaking noise again? It's coming from you. I thought it was coming from your way. No, for sure coming from you guys. What the hell is going on? How is that even possible? Maybe it came from in between us because I could have sworn it came from your direction. I don't know about you, but this whole time, I've been on edge because I feel like I'm surrounded. I feel like there's I know. Everywhere. I feel like I can't. We're hearing the squeaking from everywhere. I feel yeah. like we're literally surrounded. I just got a cold breeze. Yeah, it was on the back of my neck and my hands. I could feel it. Clay, where was that one? Right here. It came from here. The locked door. If there is an evil spirit here with us, can you make that loud, high-pitched squeaking sound again? Now let me test them. Okay. If there is an evil spirit here with us, can you make that loud squeaking noise again? That was, that was over there. No, oh. it was the door. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Holy shit. What? <laughs> what? What the f Okay. Digging. Digging! Oh my god, Holy the hole. Holy shit. That, that is absolutely insane. <laughs> I can't lay. It wants me to lay in the hole. Yeah. I guess I know where we're going. So first this doorknob was, that's what we've been hearing. It talks about the hole and it's- Farmers. 
farmers. I've never heard that word before. Me either. But there's no history here involving farmers. You wanna know what I just thought of? It was the doorknob of the locked room. And then I opened it. And then we opened it. And then it wanted us to. And it hasn't happened since then. Yeah, you're right. So you let, let something it. out. And it was an evil spirit. Because every time I ask, it would have. This makes me hate you even more than I already do. All right, so now we have moved to the hole. This is a hole where the police said there should have been a body, and when they dug, there was nothing, so flashlight came on right behind me. Spirit was asking me to get in the hole and lay, and mm -hmm. you all hear that? I'm not gonna lay in it, but I'll get in the hole. Something wanted me to get in here. Anything in here with me? You can light up either of these two devices in my hand or speak through the device behind me. Are you not doing anything because you want me to lay down? The flashlight came on as soon as you said that. Alright, what did you want me in the hole for? You can use this device right beside me here. <gasps> behind Jordan. Something in here? Wait a f Whoa. You know how when we were at the Shanley Hotel, you can feel the portals? Mm-hmm. Yourself. I think I can feel one. Legion. And right when I said this, this thing started to go nuts. Yeah. I can feel one. You feel like static electricity. And I can feel one. They didn't even tell us anything about that. I've never heard anyone say there's one here. Yeah, the flashlight came on. Am I correct? Is this a portal for you guys? The second my hand goes there, like literally immediately, it's like the tingles on the top and bottom of my hand. That's crazy. Well, now I want to feel. Yeah, try this. Just stick your hand in there. You can feel it immediately. Yeah, my fingertips. I didn't actually feel it that strong though. Go deeper. Bang. Hmm. It's, it's gone. It's gone. That's what I'm telling you. you. I didn't yelling? feel it. Yeah. It, it's gone. Do portals close? What if it wasn't a portal? It was... Uh, what if I could... What if there was someone there and I could feel it and they left? Or what if it was a portal and at first it was like active because like they were using it so you could feel it. Yourself. That's the second time it said this in this conversation. Yeah. Once you put your hand in there, they quit using it. So now you can't feel it anymore. Why do you keep saying yourself? Is this something involving me? Both times it was when I said, and you can feel it. You see that flashlight? It's like barely on, just the slightest bit. Can you turn that flashlight off? Camera won't focus. There we go. I don't know what just like what that was, but that was really cool. I just heard something over in that corner. That's why I looked. And it's a the camera's being so freaking weird. You should see the quality. It's better now. Okay. That's the second time it's done that during the video. Should we go somewhere else? It was really loud. Wait, shh. Look what out there. Jesus Christ. What the f over here. It doesn't sound like it. It's yeah, it is. What the f is that? What is it? I don't know. It sounds like it's coming from the stove. Wait, what? There was no noise coming from in here earlier. Yeah, we were in this room and it's been windy all day. It stopped. Until I... What the f Sounds like someone twisting something. Jesus! It sounds like someone's like working on it, like someone's twisting something. I don't even know where it's coming. 
What the hell? So now I'm gonna do Estes Method in the Devil's Toy Box. This is a new room to the Madison Seminary. It is six by six by six, and it is covered head to toe in mirrors. And both the girls are out there because only one person's allowed in here at a time, but I'm gonna do Estes Method and see what we can get. Watch out with the Bible in here. Are you saying you don't want a Bible in there because it's the devil's toy box? Babe. What? Oh. Does someone have something they want to say to me? Her. I wake up. Keep you here forever. I can. Many guests are here. Get in. What? Something touched her. Touched you? When we were sitting on the bed. What happened out here? Like halfway through, something touched her. Like right there. I can't. I can't like go. But the whole time I wanted to say like, don't do that. You can't. I I can't. I just can't. She just jumped up and ran over there and was like facing away from me for like a while. And I was like, what, what? And then eventually she turned around and was just staring at me and I was like, did something touch you? And she just nodded at me. Yeah, I did. But that in the kitchen has been silent right now compared to how it has been. Oh. Yeah. So now I'm going to do the Estes Method from in the Devil's Toy Box. Right now Bay is doing Estes Method in the Devil's Toy Box. Sister. You. What do you want with Jordan? You touched her on the arm. Withdrawn. I mean, I'm kind of withdrawn now, I guess. That's what they're trying to say. Open the door. What door? Smile. Ew. Who are we talking to? Is this that evil spirit from the basement? Yeah. <gasps> the wind is so creepy. Jesus. Is that it did nothing the whole time you were here? The first time. Malignant. What the fuck? What are you? C what? Were you alive? It? No. Holy f Why are you here? Is it because of the energy in this building between the trauma and grief and death? Assault that. Assault that? What do you mean by that? Are you going to assault one of us? Murder her. Murder her. Are you still touching me? Do you feel something? It feels like there's like tickles all over. All by myself. Stop touching me. Leave me alone. I don't give you permission to. That's good. Sing it. Sing. No, just stop. Bad. Try and do something for us. Listen for me. I'm listening for you. Hold you. True creation. What do you mean by that? Manifestation. Want. Young. Where are you? In hell. Wow. Are you still touching Jordan? It feels like almost like there's just something in there. It feels like I'm just being tickled. Running. Right. 
We're going to quit talking to you right now. Is there anything else you'd like to say? All right. We're going to... Lock the door. Lock no. What if it's locked when I try to open it? What does it mean? We locked the door. It locked the door on us earlier. Is that what you're saying? Are you the one who locked the door on us? Locked us in here earlier? Was it you? Leaving. We were trying to leave. Not tonight. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna get her out. That was wild. This says that it's not, it's never been alive. It's in hell. It said, you're not leaving tonight. It's the one who locked the door on us earlier. And it keeps touching Jordan repetitively. Yeah, I'm ready to get out. Of here. <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling, Jordan? Better than I'm out here. So now we've moved upstairs into Sarah's bedroom, and we're going to investigate up here. Sarah, are you here with us? If so, can you give us some sort of sign to let us know? Holy shit. Thank you. Sarah, we gave you an offering. Do you appreciate that? Jeez, did you hear that? Is someone down there? <laughs> what the f was that? Thank you. Do you want to make a loud knock or pound? What the f is that? Do you hear that? It's like crackling. So when the cops actually purchased this building in the 80s, uh, when they first came up here, they came into this room and this wasn't here. It was a different type of bed that had like restraints on it and it would hold a person down. And below it was this grate for this slab of granite or marble, whatever that is, with all these holes in it. And it was like planted in that and it was almost like, it was mentally ill people up here. There wasn't actually like a surgeon or a doctor up here. So what were they doing to the patients in this room? Why were they restraining them down? It's a big question or theory of what were they doing to them. And, and why would they need a drain? to drain like blood and stuff if it wasn't like a normal doctor's office. Exactly, so a lot of people think they were doing like illegal or secret tests on them because yeah. they weren't, they thought they were like their guinea pigs almost. Where was that? Where was that flashlight? Up there! I didn't hit it or anything, I don't think. All right, so now we are in the doctor's office. We weren't getting much in Sarah's room. It flashed us, but we weren't getting much in Sarah's room, so we decided to come up to the doctor's office. We're gonna try this method in here. During this, there will probably be loud noise coming from that way. It'll sound like doors hitting each other. That is the wind at the end of the hall. This is. Who is this? Moving. What's moving? Wishful. Don't be the, don't be the what? There's more. There's more what? I don't know. It's tricky. What's tricky? Do you like us being here? I tried. You tried to do what? Oh, it's a flashlight that's going up to this. Oh, communicate. I tried to communicate. Yep. Now they're both of them. Yeah. Are you trying to communicate with us through the flashlights? That one went on to the ceiling. You know that one. How many spirits are in here with us? Spin around. Yes. Fire in the... Are you from the hole? There are things. There are things in this world that we never understood. Understood. It's instant. What's instant? This is my usual... Can you give us some sort of physical sign that you're here? That counts, but mm. can you give me something more? Come here. 
Come where? Got to study. To the school part. The school part's the other building. It's like... What do you want us over there for? Talking forever. It's like talking forever. Are you happy we're in here? There might be a sense of... Is there an evil spirit following us around? To the end? I forgot to lock. I forgot to lock. We're talking to it again. Wherever you go, officially... Are you still following us? Through nowhere. I reside. Collect this from... Who are you? Who is this evil spirit that's been following us all night? Look down. Heaven? Look down from heaven. Earlier it said it resides in hell. How are you here? Understand. Yes, I would like to understand. How are you here? Why are you here? If you're listening. How powerful are you? How much energy do you have? Oh, my heart. Multi. They said, oh, my heart would be multi. What if they like have some problem with multi organ failure? Traditional. You said your heart. Did you have heart issues? Heroin. Like the drug. Were you on drugs? One more. Can you tell me? I'm all out of drugs. Oh my god. Okay. That was wild. So it was a heroin addict. Yeah. So we're not talking to the evil thing anymore. Turn that music off. At what point were you living here? Were you a patient? Were you one of the prison workers? What were it's you? lonely. Either way. It's lonely either way. Wow. So it's pretty much saying what's the matter either way. We were in the same boat. Jeez. That's actually so f Because the prison workers took care of the mental patients, but either way, they were both living horribly here. The prisoners lived down in the basement in cells. It's all happening. The mentally ill lived on this floor in the heat and the cold. Were you not treated fair here? Sick patients, doctor's patients. <sighs> Do you choose to be here or are you forced to be here? Have a great day. Are you leaving us? Well, thank you for talking with us. That was pretty crazy. First we were talking to the evil and it's been following us around the night, saying it will always follow us and it forgot to lock a door once. I'm gonna guess it meant her in the mirror room. That's why she was Why? Yeah. yeah. You'll find out when we watch the video. And then I was talking about drugs and how they were on heroin. And I was like, were you a patient here at the time? Or were you one of the prisoners? You said either way it was lonely. Saying like, it doesn't matter, we were all treated horribly. Is there anyone still here with us? My heart. Is this a patient? He's making it creak. He's Pain. Shaking. He's shaking so much. Work here. So prison then. Were you in prison for being addicted to heroin? Me, at least three things. Are there three things you have to tell us? Or are there three things wrong with you? Awake. Did you pass in here? Did you ever leave? He must have. Is there another person here with us? Back. Did we talk to you already? Arms out. Let me consent. We figured out we're talking to the prisoner, but we think we might be talking to somebody else too. For some reason this whole time, my left arm is killing me. It is just aching for no reason. Are you affecting Clayton's arm? All right, I'm honored. Maybe he's feeling the back. Perfect. Like when he shot up heroin. Here. Who are you? Please, believe. Please believe what? It's fun. Oh, he might be trying to convince us why he did it. Fast. What's fast? The future. I don't even know. I woke up. I mean, it sounds like he's just driving a Nothing left to lose. Okay, it sounds like he's saying like the future comes really fast. He just woke up one day and he was, his whole life was gone. It was hard. At the end of your life, did you re- oh. At the end of your life, did you re- What? At the end of your life, did you re- I live. Did you regret doing heroin? Behind you. Non-verbal. Are we still talking to the prisoner? Gone. Away. Did you leave? Yes. Okay, bye. Thank you. I'm pretty sure he just left. Well, 
I kind of figured because of the two last words, that's why I gave it another minute and I was listening, but there wasn't anything. But what happened? We think we were talking to the prisoner that was an addict to heroin, and he, what did he say? Something along the lines of like, the future comes really fast. He just woke up one day and his whole life was gone, and he kind of regretted it. Jesus. Yeah. That's really messed up. I was thinking maybe your arm hurts because you're feeling like what he felt because he shot up heroin. What? Oh, that's weird. So back when this was an asylum, all the patients lived in this room. And this room had no heating or air conditioning, and the social standards were awful up here because they were just all crammed in here together. In the winter, it would be freezing, and in the summer, they would all be dehydrated. Now for the scariest part of the night this far, I have handcuffs here, and I'm going to be handcuffed to this pole for 10 minutes while these two leave me. And I will have a walkie-talkie, and for the first five minutes, I can keep it on and communicate with you guys. After that, the last five minutes, I have to be without any human contact, alone, up here in the asylum. So this is the key that will unlock me from these, and I will be giving it to Bailey after I'm locked up here. I'm officially handcuffed to the pole. We have our walkie-talkies. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, the stairs are over here. Good luck, guys. Sometimes that will go off due to the walkie-talkie when I'm using it, so that could have been there. This is by far the scariest thing I've ever done. Well, we should turn on the obelisk, huh? If something's up here with me, can you give me a sign? I'm alone. It's just me. I'm here for you. I'm isolating myself. Give me a sign. How's it going, Clay? Good. I'm scared. How's it going for you guys? Well, just walking around right now, but nothing yet. If something's up here with me, give me a sign. I come in peace. I just want to know that you're here. If any of the prisoners are here, or the people from the jail, Give me a sign that you're here. That's not me. Holy shit. Thank you. I feel like we're having such a better time than these. Yeah, probably. Gas. How's it going for you? Just shit in my face. It said gasp. Five more seconds. Comment. No more communication for five more minutes. Walkie talkie is going. I don't want it for five more minutes. Begin. Begin. Something's up here. I have five more minutes. Now is your chance to communicate with me and give me a sign that you're here. I'm vulnerable, I'm stuck, and I'm alone. Now's your chance. What the? Hello?
Hello? Is the evil spirit from earlier here with me? The one that was making the scratching sound, the loud sound. Are you here with us? If there's anyone here that wants us to communicate, can you tell us where to go? Or make a noise where you want us to go? What do you say, hello? He was just asking for them to make a noise. Clay just asked them to make a noise and the threat came through on the obvious, specifically asking for the evil spirits. So. Give me a sign. Starting to get really paranoid. What the f is that? This is the scariest thing I've ever done. We're still getting further away because now we're in the middle building. We don't want to go too, too far. Yeah, a minute and a half. I've done a lot of scary things over this past year. Played hide and seek in the Blair house. I went to Nate's house at Yellow Dog alone in the basement. I've spent a night inside a coffin. But this, this is different. I really hope they're coming up soon. Show yourself. At the end of this hall here. Show yourself. I want to see you. We said together. Together. The obvious said together. Time's up. Oh, there they are. Uh, there were noises, for sure, coming from that hallway. The rent pod went off a couple times, and it was not the walkie. But other than that, nothing, but that was interesting. We should have left you up here another hour. And then right whenever you asked for the evil spirit to show itself, we got a threat. Hey! <gasps> Give me your money! I don't know what this was used for. We were literally just setting up and the REM pod went nuts for a second and then it stopped and Clayton said hi and then it went beep Yeah. and now it stopped. So for the final investigation, we are in the pink room and me and Jordan are going to do double S this method. Shoes. Shoes on the bed. Every time. What? Back when this building was an asylum, there were two administrators that lived in the building and ran the building, and one of their wives committed suicide in this room. Is there anyone here with me who would like to talk? We know that one of the administrators' wives committed suicide in this room. Are you here with us tonight? Can you tell us a little bit about your story? I'd love to hear it. It'd be wise to leave. Why? Is that evil spirit still following us around? Lose me. Did your husband lose you? Why did you end your own life? Help, help. You needed help? Who's here with help me? Help me. Did you need help and you didn't get it? In, In pink. pink. In pink. This is the pink room. It's hard to tell, but these walls are pink. So it's talking about help and the room where she ended her own life. What are you trying to get at? Focus on the... Should I focus on that this building was a very negative space and what was happening here was not good and you didn't want to be a part of it anymore? Rose, keep the... Keep what? For the first time tonight, it is so quiet. There has been no noise from this hallway. It's dead silent. These girls... Are you saying the two girls on the bed? Do you like them being in your bed? Is that all right? You guys. Do you allow us in your room? Love. You love us being in here. Let me go. Do you want people to stop talking about you? Do you just want to rest? Close. At least I'll... Consider. Tired. Are you tired of people coming in here and trying to communicate with you? Do you want us to consider leaving you alone? I just heard something from in there. 
There's a noise from this room. There was just another noise from in there. Can you tell me, is that what you want? Kindly. I understand. Help. You. I just want you to know I'm sorry about what happened to you. Pain. Holy shit. There's so many- Away. You went through a lot of pain? Okay, what's going on? There's noises all around me right now. Oh my gosh. Something here just made noise. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me before we leave? She was strong. Wow. I believe you were strong. I don't think you're weak because of what you did. I feel really bad for this woman. I'm gonna get them out. Pretty much what I got from most of that is this woman is here, she was communicating with me, but she's at a point now where she wants to be forgotten, kinda. Like, her time is up, she doesn't want people coming and talking to her, she just wants to rest and for it to be over with, kinda. That's so sad. But I told her I understand and I think she's strong. That's sad. Yeah. Wait, there's a living worm. A living worm? Oh, he's a bookworm. Where? <gasps> what is that? Why is he living here? He is in a book. We have moved to one of the classrooms in the original building that was the boys' college. Is someone joining us? Did someone just sit down with us? If there's anyone here that would like to communicate with us, can you come down? Come into the classroom. Thank you so much. Um, nice to meet you. My name is Clayton. This is Jordan and this is Bailey. If you would like to communicate with us, we have this device here. You can use real words to talk to us and tell us about yourself and your story. If you want, I can try Estes method too and you can try talking through me. If you want me to do Estes method, make that light up. If you want to talk through that, you can talk through it now. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, someone's excited. Thank you. I'm free. Free from what? Talk to me. We are. Proton. Proton? I can never even read that through this before. Object. Maybe they want a book about like atoms and protons or some shit. How old are you? All of 50. Yeah. I'll be high. Are you a student or a teacher? Run. The theory is... Yourself. Chin. You and me. Sorry! What are you doing? I'm stretching out my legs. It feels like when the rude kid kicks the back of your chair in class, Beck. <laughs> huh? How about you stop? How about you shut up? <laughs> Excuse me! Are you still here and would you still like to communicate? My dream. Do you have a dream? What was your dream? Good afternoon. Are you the teacher? I'll show you. I'm trying to be good. Are you a student? Beacon. Red rum. Down where I ain't. You out. Is this that thing that's been following us around? Broken glass. Is this the evil? All over. Only place I could think of broken glass all over is. Go. Wild Blood Sanitarium. Break. Is this someone from Wildwood? Watch out! Is this someone from Wildwood? Him. You all. Born with it. In my head. Disease. Forever. Being normal. Is Anne here with us? From the Wildwood? Pray he, for me? Did he say to pray for me? Yeah. That's orange. Another. That's what, that's what orange means. And another. Red rum. Maybe, maybe they're both here. Maybe, maybe... Maybe it's Ormus and I'm freaked out. I can see! Run around! You know who else was yelling? Me! The bad! Are you? Is Anne here with us? How? Did you follow? It said Beacon earlier. What if she's 
like got attached to our energy somehow and saw that we were here through like a beacon and that's what found us. I was literally about to say she got attached to anyone to be you. And did you get attached to Bailey? Hell. I'm coming back. You cannot touch me. You cannot follow me home. Anne was here again and then that thing's coming back. Uh, you think? I remember. Remember what? Is this Anne? Are you saying you remember when you saw us before? You remember the birthday Don't. Glass? Don't. Stop. No. Oh, you try. You know that ice cold air that y'all talk about? I feel it right now. You cannot touch me. In Don't. No, you cannot touch me. You Love have you. To leave me. Love you. In the room. Whatever it takes. Grandma. I've never heard that say grandma. Yeah, no, me neither. My wife. What? Always. Look. Is it? Is this Pops? Yeah. Hi. First blood. Last. Women. Damage. It's a cult. Is he telling us about the people at the Elk Lodge? During my turnover. Upside down. Three of us. As it. That's never worked before, ever. <laughs> I'm so scared. So Is that popsicle? Is that popsicle? Isn't it? Is it? No, it's it. Is it popsicle or is it the bad Don't thing? make me. I feel like it's the bad thing I've been saying that. But it's never worked. In the morning. <laughs> Pops, if you're still here, please keep that thing away from us. <laughs> I'm gonna break. Wait, what if earlier, what if Pops is like our guardian angel, and earlier when that thing was started like yelling at you, he said, don't, and then he told you They thought you. that. And that's why that said that. Live till I was 60. No. Communication. If this is when you're near me. Pops, are you trying to communicate with us? Order. Bad man. He's ordering the bad man. Don't go. It'll be easy. Maybe he told the bad guy, me. and he was saying, it's okay, don't go, I ordered the bad man. <coughs> Pops, are you still here with us? Does it matter? Matter of fact. Question. That was not nice. Comment. True. I want the thing that's been following us around all night to stop. We go on and on. Different. That's impossible. Why did you do it? Like, I feel like that was him. Like, I feel like he was giving us the strongest Something I side. can't. The strongest sign he could, because I don't think that demon could do it, even, or the evil thing we were talking to earlier, because he didn't do it. The music box went off, but we both looked at each other. Ooh. Also, we and think I Pops is here. here. What? I think Pops is like our guardian angel yeah. tonight. He like came in because and told that, that thing to leave. Because that said grandma. And then you said my wife. The music box went off for like 30 seconds straight. And then you said, order bad man away. Like Pops told him to leave. Holy shit. Thank you. I'm gonna cry. Good time to end the night. I'm glad we did one more. This is crazy. Guys, because we got up to leave. Just so everyone knows, the music box is right there, facing out the doorway into the hall. Shadows obviously do not make it go off like someone would have had to be in front of it. Say that again. Bruh. Clay? Is it off? I can't what? even make it's it go off. off. The blue light's not on. I, I didn't think they killed it. it. They killed what it. What the f The it's battery off? died. Wait, 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 wait. Let's test this though. So somehow the light was turned off, even though when you turn it on now, the light is clearly on, but it's not like calibrating or going off. Yeah. I just kind of like feel bad that we brought him to a place like this because I feel like there's a lot of things here that could like uh, hurt him if that's possible. 
I don't think that he's going to stay, and I don't think that we brought him here. I think that he came here because he knew how scared we were, because this was the most, like, scary experience Jordan has ever had while doing this. And then he stepped in, because I think he's, like, our guardian angel. There'd be a negative thing come through, and then you'd hear, like, don't. Yeah. Leave. Stop. It was a complete mix. You would hear something come through, and then it would be like, hey, stop. Like, Pops was yelling at him to leave us alone. Well, that was our night at the Madison Seminary. We definitely had a crazy night. We did a lot of different experiments and different things, and I think it was definitely a big success. I loved it. This building is incredible, and I feel like we didn't get enough time to experience all of it. It was a new experience that I haven't experienced before, which is why I was so scared, but the ending made it worth it. This was a first time for us, for a building like this, as big as it is, and the vibe it gives off kinda. We haven't done much like this, but I'm excited to see where these next two levels of fear go, because they're gonna get scarier and scarier. So what do we think on the scare factor? 4.7. I'm giving it a four. I'm giving it a four. <laughs> we'll give it a 4.5 out of five ghosts on the scare factor between the entity that has been following us around all night and the constant noises and just the scale of this building and being alone in it and being handcuffed up there was terrifying. There, there was just a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. Join us next month as we visit the old hospital on College Hill. Be sure to like and subscribe, check out our TikTok and our Instagram, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss next month's video. Bye.